Okay, we are back here on RTC TV4. Tonight, again, we have the Indians as a home team against the Fulton Cubs. And Abby has those lineups for us tonight. If she could read those off. Okay, <clears throat> for the Fulton Cubs, we have number six, Eric. Number five, Preston. Number one, Caleb. Number four, Tavin. Number two, Gavin. Number eight, Jack. Number 10, Alex. Number 11, Isaac. And number nine, Max. And then for the Indians, we have number four, Ben. Number three, Brock. Number 12, Caleb. Number eight, Aiden. Number 10, Brayden. Number six, Braxton. Number 11, Guidry. Number seven, Tyler. Number nine, Trevor. And number five, Dalton. Okay, sounds like a good lineup tonight. All those boys. I recognize a couple of those names from before. Looks like everybody's going to their dugout, so they're going to get some coaching done. And um, boys are going to get geared up. To Cubs are going to be up to bat first. And the Indians will be out on the field taking their places. That looked like a good throw. I don't know about you, but that kid, number 12, must have a good arm. He is on first. <laughs> All right. Who's the pitcher for us tonight for the uh, – Indians. What is his number to say? Hmm. <laughs> Good question. Our catcher's still getting geared up. They're always facing the wrong way when you want them to. Definitely. It looks like a number, number 10, 10, possibly. Number 10 for the Indians is Brayden. Okay. It's always interesting to see the uh, pitcher and the catcher um, when they are up to bat just to be able to see how they play the ball and, and read it. All right, practice swings are coming out and practice pitching and catching out there. I'm going to get ready for a good game tonight here on RTC TV4. There are some spooky clouds coming in, Abby. I don't yeah, know. They're, they're threatening like, some rain. Thre <laughs> threatening. That That's threat, I-N, apostrophe. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Really southern. You bring me back to <laughs> my South Carolina days with that one. They're fixing. That's another one. That's south. That's <laughs> they're fixing rain. It's fixing rain. Whew. Okay, and our catcher for the um, evening for the Indians. I think it's number uh, eight. Yes, that looks like an eight. Aiden. So we have Aiden and Braden. Are there a catcher and pitcher? That's only a little bit confusing, <laughs> but that's okay. Not as big of a crowd out tonight as usual, but we have to take in consideration that it's threatening the rain. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very hot. And it's hot, hot, hot. Let me tell you, the last game started with the sun on the entire field. I could see the um, relief gradually grow over the kid, the boys' faces, like uh, as it went from the shade went from first gr first <laughs> base over to second, over to third. You could just gradually see the relief in their in their eyes. I bet as the uh, sun wasn't beating down on them anymore. So uh, these boys are lucky. They don't have to suffer like the the last boys did. They get the shade all the way around. Looks like we might be starting soon. 
Um, just talking to the batter. I was just hanging out the window there, Abby, and uh, Ump said start time, 8.01. Oh, <laughs> 8 Everybody repeated him. Oh, that one looked like a strike <clears throat> almost. My goodness. Up to bat first for our Fulton Cubs, we have number six, Eric, with his yellow bat. It's popping colors, blue and yellow. Yeah, it's going to be another strike on him. Ooh, it's a 1-1 one, one count. Must have been a ball. That'll be another ball. 2-1 count. He got one. He's headed over to first, and he is safe. Now we have number five, Preston, up to bat. Looks like they're going to call that one a ball. Ooh, there we go. We got it out there. Perfect. That's going to bring our... Ooh, he looks like he's going to third. And he's going to keep running. First score for the Cubs. Awesome. That'll bring a run in. Still have one batter out on second. Up next to bat, we have number one, Caleb. We're going to have a steal for third base. That'll be a strike. We have a 1-1 one, one count. He cracks it out there past our shortstop player. And then they Looks get another like run another in. Another run in, yep. Perfect. And we still have a boy out there. It's always good to have somebody out there on the bases. We have number four, Tavin, up to bat next. We have a steal for second. That'll be a ball. Another steal towards third this time. We have a 2 0 count. 
And he cracks it out there into the outfield and gets another run in. Awesome. Three runs in the top of the first. Now we have Gavin, number two, up to bat. Number four for is steal. He made it. Looks like another ball. And another steal for number four. We have a 3 0 count. Ooh. Ooh, right past the pitcher. Nice ding. Perfect. Bringing in another run. And he's going to keep it safe on first. Up next to bat, we have at number eight, Jack. Oh, looks like we have a base stolen. That was a swing and a miss. That one wasn't a miss, clearly. Oh, he sent it out there. And another run in. There we go. <coughs> Up next to bat, we have Alex, number 10. Five runs already by the Fulton Cubs, just in the top of the first. It's going to be an exciting game. I can feel it. That'll be a ball. Ooh, looks like we're having second stolen. That's going to be a strike. 1-1 one, one count. Ooh. Ooh. And he caught it. So that's going to be our first out on the <coughs> Fulton Cubs tonight. We have... Isaac, number 11, up to bat next. We still have that runner out on second. See what he can do. Oh, that'll be a ball. And our runner on second is stealing third. Ooh, and it bounces right by the Indians out there, and they get another run in. That is going to be a total of six runs just in the first inning. And we've reached the bottom of our batting order with Max, number nine, up to bat next. And he cracks it up. And, and is he is out. That's going to be our second out. Starting our batting or order over. Who's that going to be again? Number six, Eric. Ooh, look at that. 
He made it out there. They didn't catch it. And they're keeping it safe at second and third. Number five is going to be up to bat next. Number five is Preston. Let's see if Preston can get a couple more runs in before they have to transition. Ooh, that'll be a ball. Another ball. 2 0 count. And that'll be our third ball. Looks like we're going to get another run in. Another two runs in. There we go. Okay. And that'll be a total of eight runs. Up next to bat, we have number one, Caleb. Number five is going to steal second. Now he's going to steal third. There we go. Our batter's putting it out there. Okay, so he can another run. get a double and we'll have another run in. Oh, Ooh. he's going for a triple. I think he might try to go home. Oh, yep. my gosh. He's going to go for a home. And oh, he's, he's safe. He's safe because the catcher did not get it. That is going to be a total of 10 runs just in the top of the first inning. Yeah. There's supposed to be a a 10 run limit per inning. So now Now our Cubs are going to take the field and our Indians are going to prepare to bat. Okay. Yeah. While those teams are getting ready to come out and play for the bottom of the first, we are going to go to a quick commercial break from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Blue Dragon Taekwondo. Whether you want to learn self-defense, physical cross-training, or looking to compete in national tournaments, Blue Dragon Taekwondo is the area's leading martial arts authority. Online at tkdbluedragon.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. 
please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. All right, and we are back here on RTC TV4 giving you the Rochester Youth League baseball coverage of the Indians against the Cubs, Fulton Cubs tonight here at the Diamond. How do you think things are playing out, Abby? I think that this is going to definitely be an interesting game. Yeah, with 10 runs, they, they reached their limit, the uh, Fulton Cubs did just in the top of the first. And, um, you know, we still have a full game to play. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty crazy. Okay, looks like our first Indian is going to come up to bat here soon. And what does that batting order look like? Who's going to be first? Up first we have number four, Ben. Okay. Like there is a one two count. Yes, one two count. That'll and that will be the third one. First, first out. <laughs> yep, first <laughs> first out for the Indians. Up next we have number three, Brock, up to bat. First pitch is gonna be a ball. That'll be a strike. One, one count. That's going to be another ball on Brock. And it looks like he hit that one, but it's going to be a foul. Two two count on Brock right now. Oh. And that's another foul ball. He can hit it, he just needs to um put it out there so he can play it too. Ooh, Ooh. another foul. And that's going to be a third ball. It's a full count right now. Ooh. All right, he hits it to where he can play it. He's headed over to first, and he's going to stay there and be safe. Now we have number 12, Caleb, up to bat next. All right, that'll be Caleb's first ball. And he hits it. He sent it over to second. It's a force out yeah. second. But he is safe at first. Batting next, we have number eight, Aiden. Pretty sure he was our catcher. Yep, 
Yeah, but Aiden and Brayden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, another. Oh, yep, that's going to be a ball in a strike. 1-1 one, one count. Another strike on him. We got yeah. number 12, Steele in second. And he made it. It's going to be a third strike and a third out. third out for the Indians. And that concludes the first inning. Yes, <laughs> it does. Okay, looks like our home team tonight did not get any runs in on the bottom of the first. That's okay. They have the whole game to catch up. We are going to see you back here on RTC TV Ford after a... This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. The lawyers and staff at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Okay, my apologies. It cut us off a little sh short there. Uh, I meant to say a quick word from our sponsors, but uh, my finger just clicked the button a little too fast. <laughs> That's okay. It happens. All right, and we have the Indians practicing out there on the field. It's going to be the top of the second here at the Rochester Youth League baseball game. Indians against the Fulton Cubs. Right now, the Fulton Cubs are in a 10-run lead that they all got in the first inning. Like, mm -hmm. that still is blowing my mind. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that happen. But, um, you know, if the if the Fulton Cubs can play like that, clearly the Indians can play like that too. Uh, they just got to have the oomph. Okay, our catcher's coming out with his gear on. That's going to get the game started here soon. We have a new catcher for the Indians, number six, Braxton. Looks like a new pitcher, too, possibly. Yep, we do. Brock, number three. Let Brock get a few practice pitches in since he'll be new on the mound. And our Fulton Cubs boys will have a little bit more time to practice their swinging.
All right, looks like our first Cubs boy is up to bat, number four. Number four is Tavin. He's going to have a ball. That second pitch was a little too high. That'll be another ball. We have a 3-0 count. And he hits it out there, right past one of the players, and he's safe at first. All right. Oh, it's Pat Nat. Next, we have number two, Gavin. Number four is going to steal second. Gavin cracks it out there and looks like he's going to bring his teammate in for another run. All right. And number two is going to stay there on second. Well, their teammate number eight, Jack, comes up to bat next. Look like the catcher there got, got really excited. <laughs> Looks like our player on second stole the third. I didn't even see him do that. He's like the flash. <laughs> Super quick. Who's up to bat right now, Abby? Up to bat right now is at number eight, Jack. Oh, looks like they're trying to catch number two stealing home. Looks he like it's going to be a it foul ball. There. Yep. And the little kids are going to go chase it so they can get their slushy. <laughs> <laughs> On a hot day like this, you need a slushy. 3 1 count. Ooh, there, there we go. We that looks like a good Ooh, one. Oh, it's out. Oh, and he gets that home run, bringing in another run for their team. Oh, the, their, his team's going to come out and congratulate him at home. Looks like we're going to get high fives. Okay. 13 runs on the board. That was a nice hit for the Cubs. Great. Who's up to bat next? Let's see what they can do. Up next we have Alex, number 10. Oh, that hit him in the back of the helmet. Oh, my gosh. You can hear that clack. I hope he is okay. Now we have number 11, Isaac, up to bat. I can I think I'm getting his headache. 
All right, that'll be a ball on number 11. They could just feel the headache begin when it clacked. Yeah, these boys are pretty tough for taking. Definitely. Pitches. Ooh, caught. Number 11 is out. That's the first out for the Cubs this inning. And now we have number nine, Max, up next to bat. Mm, and he hits it just far enough where he's, and he's he is out. out. But our player on first was able to get to second in time. That'll be two outs. We're back at the top of our batting order again. Number six, Eric, up to bat next. Ooh, and he right. clanks it. Ooh. Pitcher he, almost he's safe. It. Yes. Almost, Abby. Keyword, <laughs> almost. He's safe at first, and his teammate got to third. Now we have Preston, number five, up next to bat. Let's see if Preston can either bring somebody in or fill the bases. Looks oh, like first is steal and second. Awesome. Looks good to me. Ooh, I think that was a foul ball. Looks like it. Be a 1-1 one, one count on Preston here. That would be a second strike. Another ball and a run in, bringing their runs up to 14. Now we have number five, Preston, up to bat. And the first one's going to be. A little high. Oh, was that not Preston up there? Was that Eric a second yeah. ago? My bad. I thought that five looked like a uh, six looked like a five. <laughs> My apologies on that one. Eric did just run in, though. <laughs> All right. That's. And he looks like Preston's going to walk it. Total of 15 runs for the Fulton Cubs at the top of the second inning. Up next to bat, we have Caleb, number one. And he's going to whack it out there to the outfield. And he was confident enough in that one that he just walked to <laughs> first. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay. Who's up next, Abby? Up next is number four, Tavin. Wow, the Fulton Cubs do have two outs so far at the top of the second. So as much as they probably want to double their score like they 
and get that 10 like they Ooh. did in the uh, first inning. Uh, they only have five right now, so we'll see where it goes. boys are stealing and third and second. These and they're both safe. Looks like that one's teasing our pitcher out there. Tabbit hits it out there and he brings two runs in. Okay, that'll be seven runs. And he's a run in around the bases. Looks like he might try to go, oh, He's nope, going to stay at third. He's going to keep it safe. <laughs> but he got two RBIs. Oh, nope. He's going after all. And he's he's safe. safe. Wonderful. Okay. That'll be a total of eight runs just in this inning. And that brings their teammate Gavin, number two, up to bat. Third out for the Cubs. Okay. That'll bring us to the bottom of the second. And up next will be the Indians up to bat. Our home team for the evening. In between that time, while the Fulton Cubs get out on the field and the Indians come up to bat. We're going to show you some quick sponsor ads. We will be right back here on RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com The lawyers and staff at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at Peterson-Wagoner.com Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Okay, we are back here on RTC TV4 with your coverage of the Rochester Youth League Baseball game. The Indians against the Fulton Cubs tonight. Fulton Cubs are in the lead with an 18-run lead. They got that in just the first and top of the second innings and uh, the Indians just need to catch up a little bit to make this game a little bit more fair for themselves although both teams are trying very hard I would would you agree I mean I'd say yeah I say that they hard are work hard work being put in who's up first for the Indians up first for the Indians we have number 10 Brayden Brayden's going to get a ball on that first pitch for him. That'll and be a strike. A, yep, strike on the second. 1-1 one, one count right now. Ooh. Ooh, and that one made our scoreboard boys flinch a little, <laughs> coming back up at their window. Sometimes you forget there's a fence there, right, boys? Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. Okay. Mm 
That's a 2-2 count on our Indian boy right now. And it looks like that's our first out for the Indians this inning. Mm. Up next to bat, we have number six, Braxton. Looks like he's going to tie his shoe first. <laughs> that's probably a good idea. Don't want him tripping out there when he runs. First strike. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that one was way to the right. Up next about we have Guidry number 11. The ball. Another ball. Three O count. Looks like he's. Oh, nope, that one was called a strike. He was ready for it to be a ball. That'll be a second strike. We have a full count. That's his third. That'll be an out on the Indians. No runs this inning for them. That's okay. They have every opportunity next time to get it. Okay, and that'll bring us into the top of the third. We will be right back here on RTC TV 4 after a quick word from our sponsors. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank, online at firstfederalbanking.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Okay, and we are back here on RTC TV 4. I am Libby Woodjick here with Abby Cox. And we are covering the Indians versus the Fulton Cubs for you guys tonight here at the Rochester Youth League Baseball Diamond out by the city park. And it's kind of getting spoopy. It's getting a little spooky, mm -hmm. a little spooky, so yeah. spooky out here um, at the Diamond. The clouds are coming in. The rain's going to start. Next two days, I think. Do you see the radar? I haven't. That's a Abby, that's not your priority yet. <laughs> you, you're, n you're not uh, on that level of adulthood. You don't have to look at that yet. It's okay. I don't blame you. But, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, the, it might be the, the score that, that leads us home early from this game, or it might be the uh, rain <laughs> if it does start <laughs> to rain. 
Looks like our first batter up for the Fulton Cubs is going to be number eight. Who's that, Abby? Number eight is Jack. Jack. Jack is tall compared to some of those he boys up there. very tall. Yeah, He's definitely. probably taller than I am. Oh, my gosh. That's always crazy to see. It kind of makes me feel like, <laughs> what does my grandma feel like, you know? Like, super small because she's smaller than yeah. me and, like, I don't know. I, I don't want to become old and shrink <laughs> down. Just start to shriver and shrink. Some practice pitches. And they have 12 out there. Is that is that the pitcher they've had this whole game? Um, Caleb, I don't think so. I think they've switched every inning. Oh, there we go. Well, okay. we got 12, and our catcher. Looks mm. like our catcher might be the. Back to number eight. I think it might be. Yep. Okay. Here comes the uh, the old swing. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that was uh, way far to the left there. That's okay. He just needs to get a little warmed up. Yep, warmed up and adjusted. And, you know, it's always a little bit harder throwing to left, left-handed kids. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you're trying to get it in the strike zone in that box. But every pitcher I've ever seen kind of struggles to throw to the lefties. <laughs> yep. Okay, looks like he hit it. That's going to be... One ball and one strike. Ooh, that one's going to be a little high into the left. Another ball. That'll be a third ball, 3-1 count. If um, Pitcher just took a, another step towards first, I believe he would have it right in the area. He needs to get it in. He looks like he has fast pitch, so. He was the one at first base with the good arm. Yeah, <laughs> that chucked it at the very beginning of the game. Okay, and he is going to walk, putting us with a cub on first, bringing up the next one. The next one is number 10, Alex. You hear that ball hit the ground. <laughs> Made a big thud. It's just how fast it was going. Ooh, Ooh and he hits it. Good hit off of that Perfect. pitch. Perfect, all the way back to the ads. And our boys are flying around the bases. He's going to try and run in, see where he can get with it. And our other boy is going to stay on third. Looks like we got a run in from our Cubs. Up next to bat, we have number 11, Isaac.
That'll be another ball, 2-1 count. Swing and a miss. 2-2 two, two count right now. Ooh, he tinks it and he's at it over to first. Oh, he didn't get it. There we go. We got to run in. And he's safe at first. <laughs> yes. That'll be two runs this inning for, goodness, if I can find the two. Maybe it'll <laughs> be two. Two run-ins so far. And batting next is number nine, Max. He swings and misses. And our first baseman's going to steal second, and he's safe. Got a 1-1 one, one count on our batter. We have our steal in third. Sneaky. <laughs> Very sneaky. Some of them I don't even see, and they're just flying across the bases. Like Ghosts. Like no one's business. Ghosts. Uh, what's that one movie? Angels in the Outfield. <laughs> they're just flying. <laughs> All right. Looks like we have a 2-2 two -two count. And we have a full count on our batter right now. Let's see where this can go. Ooh, that one almost hit him in the head. That'll be a ball, and he'll get to walk over to first. Giving us two Cubs out on the field. And that brings number six, Eric, back up to bat. Starting our batting order again. Number nine's gonna steal second. And our batter has a strike on him. No outs yet this inning for the Cubs. Might have jinxed that. <laughs> one, one count. Two, one count. There, Ooh. he tinks it, but it will be a foul ball. Full 
full count on our batter right now. Looks like we have a dancer out there guarding third base. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. I know that boy. He's full of energy. You got to spice up the game sometimes. Ooh. That's the first out. He's going to consider cuts. that a strike, even though I almost hit him in the arm. But All right. <laughs> <laughs> no comment other than that one. Uh, who's up to bat right now, Abby? Up to bat next, we have number five, Preston. We got a ball. Feel that cool breeze coming in, Abby. <laughs> that thunderstorm coming in. Ooh. Whoa, he had to duck back on that one. That'll be another ball. Still have two boys out there on the field, one on third and one on second. Trying to come in. There we go. He tinks it, but... Oh, they don't catch it. He heads over to first. We're going to have a runner in. He's safe. That'll bring us up to 21. Runs, and we're keeping our boys on third and first. Up to bat now, we have number one, Caleb. Ooh, he almost gets hit with it. Looks like our first baseman is stealing second. He makes it there, and he's going to stay. It's going to be a strike. One, one count. Ooh, he had a dug back real far for that one. That'll be another ball. Had a matrix that one. Still got our boys out there on third and second. Oh, and that one almost hit the camera. That wouldn't have been good. <laughs> no, wouldn't it? Uh, last game we actually did have one hit the camera. Dakota had to go out the window and. Uh, <laughs> readjust the camera a little bit. 2-2 two, two count right now with one out this inning. Ooh, it Need to duck, duck down. for that one. Yeah. He's kind of hitting himself like, maybe I should have just let it hit my head. <laughs> <laughs> Got a full count. Let's see if he walks it or what's up. Oh, and he ducks. Looks like our count might have been wrong. That was going to be another ball on him. So I believe now. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has a 2-2 count, Backs and he is headed there. over to first. It looks like we're going to try and get a run in. And now he's headed over to second. Mm -hmm. And they're both safe on third and second with one run in. That's going to give us 22 runs. And it is getting dark, Abby. I don't know about you, but it's getting, getting pretty dark. It is slowly progressing. <laughs> Lights aren't turned on, so you know that darkness is not from the uh, yeah. nighttime. Oh, oh that's going to be a second out. And those boys are going to head on back over to third and second so they don't get, they get out. This looks like it's uh, the lowest amount of runs that the Cubs have had tonight in one inning. Yeah. That'll be a ball. That'll be a strike, even though he had to back up for that. So, very confusing. <laughs> One one count right now. Ooh. Ooh. Cracks it up and out. They're going to get another run in, another two runs. And our hitter is safe on first. Yeah, he's playing it safe. Up next to bat, we have Jack, number eight. That'll be a foul ball for a strike. Uh-oh. Oh, I hear thunder. Nah, that's just a motorcycle <laughs> starting in Abby. Come on. Number two is going to steal second. Looks like we have a strike on the board for an, a 1-1 um, one, one count, excuse me, on the board for our hitter right now. Second strike. Number two steals third. Being sneaky. Stealing those bases. Looks like that's going to be a ball. It still amazes me um, how vivid the camera is compared to real life. Because like right now it looks so gloomy and dark and but uh, and on the camera the gr the green of the grass is still you know just completely and utterly bright. That's oh. going to be a, a third strike, I believe. Yep. Third strike and third out for the Cubs. It looks like the Indians have one more chance. If they don't score enough runs, they will call it. Um, they might have seen lightning. Uh oh. Behind us. <laughs> looks like everybody's on their phones getting that weather app out. <laughs> All right. We will be right back here on RTC TV 4 with coverage and uh, explanation of if the game gets uh, canceled or anything or if there's any type of postponement uh, right back after these sponsor ads. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Shepherd's Chevrolet Buick in Rochester treats you like family. Shepherd's offers a wide variety of new and certified pre-owned vehicles to fit your budget. 
Stop out for your test drive today online at shepherdsrochester.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader. Comprehensive care from head to toe, online at woodlawnhospital.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. All right, we are back here, and it looks like they're going to call the game with the uh, lead of 24 runs by the Cubs, Fulton Cubs, and against the Indians. Um, and the weather threat, they are going to call the game here after the top of the third inning. You guys are watching RTC TV4. Thank you for sticking around and seeing the uh, ending of this game and for supporting your local coverage. We will see you next time here. And um, Abby, you have any words for the viewers? Um, it was a good game. Both yeah, the it boys really was. played very well. Awesome. Sad to see them stop early. Yeah, definitely. All right. See you soon on RTC TV4.